Hey, Obi, I'm gonna put your clothes in the room. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put the next pile of clothes to wash. Hmm. Might as well put it away for him. Hmm. Wait. What is... Why does he still have this? Your assignment is to eliminate this target. He goes by the name Obsidian Lantern. He has been causing the company quite a bit of trouble, especially now that he is no longer under contract. So rental with a good rep. A strange way to put it, but yes. Is there anything about him that I should be aware of? Yes. He too is a Cerulean soldier. People say he has abilities, but suspects don't survive long enough to tell their tale. He would have been a wonderful addition to my army, if it wasn't for his ties to the Alistarian Guard. Any surveillance records? No. Boy hacks into the system and destroys all evidence of his work. All we have to work with is this picture from the Hunter Recruiter's Net a quick bio of his specialities, and a lead on his next mission. Where to? Galdaza. It is the solar system right next to us. About five light years, give or take. From what we gathered, we believe he is planning on assassinating one of our main suppliers of 72B grade uranium fuel rods. I have a hunch that he was probably hired by one of the Alvastarian black market enforcers. He has killed some pretty dangerous people. <laughs> Even several of yours as well. Don't remind me. He is becoming quite a nuisance. So I need him dead. You think you can do that for me? <laughs> Consider it done. Just a looker under that mask. Face it, kid. Without your powers, you are no match for me. Kid. Boy, I'm probably older than you. <clears throat> and of course, they would send another Cerulean soldier to kill me. Hope you weren't expensive. <laughs> You're cocky. Not good for this field of work. So. You ready to die? Only if you are. What? Where did he go? You have to be faster than that. Shit! That is not fair. Booker still has his abilities? I have to blow up the place and get out of here! Shit! Set the place to blow. Oh nine, send a ship to pick me up now.
I can explain. Obi, why do you still have this? Oh, yeah. I was planning on repairing it, but I haven't gotten to it. You... You should just get a new one. But why? It's just a cut in the glass and the screen. And all other components are still functional. Y yeah, but... But what? It just... It just brings back some bad memories. You and that mission. Noah, I told you. Leave it in the past. Huh. Easy for you to say, huh? You think so. But it was just as traumatizing for me as it was for you. <laughs> then you're pretty good at hiding it. Okay. Just because I don't like to show it doesn't mean I care less. But it's obvious that this is affecting you way more than me. Yeah, because I almost killed my best friend. Jeez, Obi. Sometimes I feel like you don't even give a shit of whether or not I killed you. Not like I would have felt anything if you did. But I would. God, do you have any idea what that would have done to me? How it would have destroyed me? What? No! We were trained with the knowledge practically beaten into our brains that once we left the academy, everyone we knew was going to be our enemy at one point or another. I did not want to burden myself with the thought that one day you and I would meet and have to kill each other. I made it a choice to accept whatever happens, so that I can continue living on. And besides, you wouldn't have known. You would have just ended my life and moved on. Mission complete. Is that what you think we do after we kill our targets? Just leave their bodies to rot? Please, Noah, don't, don't do this. Do what? Tell you of what we do to our victims? How we collect their remains and send them to be biopsy and cataloged? Obi, we don't just kill our targets. We study them, learn from them, we analyze how they were built, what they carry, and you? <laughs> you manage to keep the one thing. This. This is how I knew it was you. And knowing you the way I do, even after all that training and repetitive brainwashing enforcement, you still kept this. Hell, that day when your Sewell contract ended and Lord Dazo stuck you in a machine to have your memory wiped, out of everything that you started to forget, this, you refused to forget this. So tell me again, would you be able to move on? If you knew that you killed me instead. No, I... I, I couldn't. I... You couldn't I, what? I couldn't let go! Let go of what? Of home! Noah, I barely remember home, okay? I only remember one of my brother's names because he was the last one I saw on the night of the abduction. And that night is all I remember of the Saren. You and this necklace were the last pieces of home I had left. But when you were sold off, the necklace was all I had left. The machine erased more than I'm willing to admit. And sadly, it erased a lot of you. Obi, I... I didn't know. Yeah, because I didn't want you to know that I barely remember the day that you gave me this necklace. Noah, they took so much away from me. And I... <sighs> Why is it every time I have a serious talk with you... You have more to unpack than me. I'm... I'm sorry. 
Fuck yeah, you're sorry. Making me think you didn't give a shit. Of course I give a shit. I broke down several times during recovery. <laughs> because you didn't remember me? Because I didn't remember enough. Thank you. Thank you? For what? For caring. Even if you don't like to admit it. I'm an assassin. I'm not supposed to show emotions. Well, you're failing at that. That's your fault. Hey, Obi. Can you promise me to be a bit more uh, open with me? I know it's not normal with our training and whatnot, but it'll help me and you. Okay. So less secrets. I'll try.